Namaste. In class 6 science, today we are going to learn about the nervous system. The nervous system controls and coordinates all the activities of the body. There are different organs consisting in this nervous system. They are nothing but the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves and also the sense organs. So these four are the different organs which actually consist of these nervous system. Now coming to the brain. This brain is a delicate organ and it is very important part of our body as it controls almost most of the activities of our body and this is located in the head region and this is in turn protected by a bony cage which is actually called as the skull. Now this skull is also called as the cranium. So brain is protected by the skull or the cranium and this brain has got two main parts that is the right side and the left side. As it is already told that it controls most of our activities, the right side of the brain controls the left side activities of the left body parts and the left side of the brain controls the activities of the right body parts. It is vice versa, right? Okay, so right side controls the left body parts, left side of the brain controls the right body parts. The next important organ is nothing but the spinal cord. The brain is almost around 1.3 cages and from that we can see an, see an extension like structure, tube like structure which is attached to it. It is nothing but our spinal cord. This is a long structure measuring of approximately 50 centimeters in length and it is Nothing but a tuft of very delicate nervous tissue. And so it is actually protected by the vertebral column or the backbone. Now this spinal cord carries the messages from the brain to different parts of the body and again from different parts of the body to the brain. Now comes the nerves. These nerves are actually made up of tiny cells which are called as the neurons or the nerve cells. These nerve cells they carry messages throughout the body and these messages actually travel as electrical current which we can call them as the nerve impulse. Okay. Now basically these nerves are of two types. One is the sensory nerve, the other group is the motor nerves. The sensory nerves, they usually carry messages from the sense organs to the brain. I repeat, from the sense organs to the brain. That is the function of the sensory nerves. And then the motor nerves, they actually carry the commands of the brain to the sense organs. Okay, so the next important organ of the nervous system is nothing but your sense organs which you have been learning from your lower classes. We know our human body consists of five sense organs that is the eyes for vision, ears for the sound for hearing and nose for the smell, tongue for the taste and skin for the touch. Now these sense organs they actually receive messages from the uh, surroundings from this as a stimulus and then through the sensory nerves, they pass on the messages to the brain. Then the brain commands them in which way they need to act by the help of the motor nerves. So this is about the nervous system. Thank you.